In this video we're going to look at how projects and solutions are tied together and how to resolve some errors when for some reason they're not registered correctly or linked correctly. So let's see if I can make one break. That's uh, usually the hard part. They break just fine when you don't want them to. So let's see here. If I go through and make myself a, a new project And it doesn't really matter what type of project. How about I choose uh, integration services because it was already open. Okay, this project <coughs> is contained within a solution. And the solution is a, a way of grouping projects together. Now Microsoft did a, what I think is a silly thing. They made it so that if you only have one project in your uh, solution, they will by default hide the solution unless you go up to Tools, Options, Projects and Solutions and check this little box to always show the solution. I've always thought that was a really silly thing to do don't be fooled there is a solution there you just can't see it now if you um, if you go to the a package or code file of any type and you let's say double click on it at the top here you'll be able to go ahead and see a tab interface right clicking on the tab will bring up a context menu the context menu will allow you to go ahead and open the containing folder and at that point if you go up a level so there's the project folder with its project file if you go back up a level in the organization you'll see the solution file so yes it was it was always there anyway as far as I'm concerned, the best thing to do is to turn on Always Show the Solutions. That way you're not dealing with invisible items. Project Solutions, Always Show Solutions. <coughs> now, a solution is a collection of one or more projects. Right currently I'll have one project. Let me add another. And I'll pick a different one. How about a Windows form application. Why not? It should go in the <coughs> same project. Uh, unfortunately my project has the same name. Uh, the solution has the same name as a project. And I'll show you what this really means here in just a second. In SSIS the code files are XML based. This is really a code file. It has XML code, view code. And C sharp, of course, the code files are C sharp based. It's all the same. And because they're all just code files, you can right click and open the containing folder. Once again, I'm, I can see a project file here. And if I go up a level, I can see that my integration server project and my Windows form application project are side by side. And then here's my solution files. But you'll note that the solution files are in a solution folder called integration service project. It's, I think it's just confusing. This is one of the reasons why Typically, I'll start off with a blank solution, give the solution a name, and then go through and add projects later on. So this one solution is in those two projects. I'll go ahead and shut down Visual Studio. Sure, I'll save it. <clears throat> Occasionally, what happens is that I realize that there's 
it's looking weird so I'll just go through and say I'll change the name to my solution or some other hmm. name it doesn't change the fact that the solution files in here are uh, still called that so I, I might go ahead and try changing it to something like my solution now you probably really shouldn't do this outside of Visual Studio if you change things in Visual Studio typically I'll go ahead and update everything so that's synchronized but I'm actually trying to break it I'm not sure how successful I'm going to be but we'll see what happens now I double click on the solution with any luck, one of the projects may or may not actually load up correctly. We'll see. Now they both did. Actually, Visual Studio even picked up the fact that the name changed. How nice is that? However, let me uh, go ahead and change the Windows format to WinFormApp. Now that the path is different, I'll open that solution file again. And I don't think this is going to work so well. Aha! Unavailable. Well, that somehow makes sense. Um, I mean, after all, a solution file is all about... Can I drag it in there? Oops. Well, I can, but not what I had in mind. Let me see if I can open Notepad Plus. Solution file is uh, just a way of tracking which projects are part of the solution. So, for example, it's looking for a project that's called Windows Form Application, Windows Form Application Project File. And of course, the paths don't line up. So, the solution file no longer points to the correct one. Well, there's occasionally this happens even if the folders just sitting right there. When that happens you can right click on the thing and just tell it to reload mm -hmm. the project and often it'll go through and reset it. It'll synchronize it up. In this case it failed so what I need to do is I need to go through and, and just add it in. So first of all I'll remove it. Then I'll right click on the solution and I'll say add. Let me move it over a little bit. Uh, right click on the solution and say add existing project and then it's just a matter of going down and finding that project okay where did I put those well, you know I don't remember where I put it so I'll tell you what I'll do I'm going to right click on the solution and I'm going to go through and say open in folder explorer file explorer okay so there's the path copy that And I try it again. Right click, add existing project, paste the path in up here. And then I can see the Windows form application and I'm looking for the project file. That's what needs to open it. Uh, it needs to connect it. You know, open and it's magically there. Now I want to save my work at this time. Saving the work will go ahead and update that solution file so that now. That solution file has the right path. Okay. So that now that solution file should have the right path. Oh, it, it does. It has wind forms. Uh, when I saw this part and I didn't see that. So we're in good shape. So next time I open this up, hopefully it well not hopefully it it should. Of course. <laughs> It's a Windows thing, so you know we get all kinds of weird stuff sometimes. But it should open up correctly this time. As I said, sometimes for some reason, and I'm not sure exactly why it happens, the um, this will be corrupting. You just have to right click and say reload uh, if it can't find it. So like right here, I just made it unavailable. I unloaded it, so reload, and it will fix itself. It happens. And as to what causes that to happen, what triggers that, I've never figured it out. But I do know that that, that is a thing that's possible. If it won't 
resolve itself. Unload the project. It won't resolve itself by going through and reloading it. Remember the trick that you can always remove it and then add it in manually by locating. Oops, not new project. Silly. Adding in manually by going through and adding in an existing project. Okay, hopefully that will help people who have been having problems getting things synchronized and organized in these uh, solutions like that. I certainly get, um, oh, at least every quarter I get three or four or five people contacting me because Visual Studio has done something odd like that. So hopefully this will help those folks. That's it. Take care, and I'll see you in class.